see completely obvious. So I'll chat a bit about the uh, license categories and progressive access, which are the ones that people tend to get hung up on um, and, and don't quite understand. Uh, and it is a bit sort of convoluted. So there's four categories of license. There's uh, AM, A1, A2 and A. Uh, AM is scooters, uh, stuff below 50cc that go, can't go more than 45 kilometers per hour. Don't bother. Uh, honestly, I don't even know why this category exists. Um, you know, you're... I think it's a throwback to when people used to get it for free with their car license. I don't know if you're even going to be able to find somebody who'll do your IBT on a scooter. Like, just don't bother, really. Uh, don't even look into it. If you're only ever going to ride a scooter, even if you're 100% only ever going to ride a scooter, do the A1. It's a million times easier to uh, to get a trainer and instructor, and it's uh, it's actually just uh, it's the same skills. Next up is the A1. Uh, A1 is for if you're between 16 and 18. Um, there's uh, 100. It's bikes up to 125 cc's or 11 kilowatts. Uh, now the whole kilowatts and power to weight ratio and all that sort of business. You can work that out from the bike and for the manufacturer specs and the logbook and all that sort of stuff if you want to look into it. But a short answer to that, and this applies to A1 and A2, is go look on the RSA.ie website, they have a list of bikes. It's not a complete list, but it'll give you the more popular makes of bikes that people use for their tests. Second up is the A2. A2 is for if you're 18 or over. Uh, and it's bikes up to 35 kilowatts. There's no CC restriction, but you're not going to find a bike any higher than about 600 CCs that gets uh, less than 35 kilowatts. Uh, again, have a look at the RSA website and double check if there's a particular bike you're looking for. A lot of places will say this is learner ready or A2 ready or something like that, but double check anyway. Um, and that's, you know, slightly bigger bikes, but not completely unrestricted for uh, if you're uh, 18 or over. Um, so progressive access, um, that basically means that if, so the direct access is 16 for A1 and 18 for A2 and 24 for uh, full A. That seems like a big jump, uh, but if you have an A2 license and you've had it for two years uh, and you're over 20, you can um, do a training course uh, which is IBT module 5 on the higher category bike and then you can just get your A license straight away there's no need to do your test again um, so that means if you've demonstrated for two years that you have you're able to handle the smaller bike then you can progress one level up um, you could do that between A1 and A2 as well so if you're in A1 from 16 and you turn 18 you can go get your A2 so uh, you can only do progressive access once so if you're 16 if you're a1 you do your ipt module 5 uh, you get your a2 when you turn 18 um, you actually have to uh, do your test again after you turn 20 on an a bike uh, which seems like a bit of a pain in the arse but it's a it's a big jump between the two uh, levels of bike um, so that's progressive access. Just the fucking wind on this thing is shocking. <laughs> Tiny ER6 review. You get blown around all over the fucking shop on this thing. So last up was my own thoughts on the matter, of which I have a couple. Um, first one being, um, it's an expensive old game, isn't it? Uh, you're talking minimum of 600 quid just to get yourself sorted with the license and the ability to ride on the road. And that's before like a bike or gear or insurance or tax or any of that business um, so what I'd say is don't skimp on it like make sure you've budgeted it right uh, and that you've factored in everything and you're not leaving yourself stuck halfway through the process um, there was a chap on uh, either boards or biker there recently sort of saying oh, I'm a decent rider already can I kind of skimp on the IBT or can I find some lad that'll just give me the cert 
and you're only fooling yourself because um, the IBT is I think it's actually scary how <laughs> there's there's lads out in the road that never did a minute of a minute of training you know the previous licensing regime was that you just you're working it out for yourself that's terrifying <laughs> just knowing uh, only the basics of it but uh, that's don't skimp on it like uh, assign the money and everything like that and people sort of say oh the bike is cheaper than the car and maybe <laughs> only maybe so uh, you know make sure that you understand the costs that are associated with it that'd be number one and uh, number two and it's another thing from reading forums and all that sort of stuff is get the biggest license you can get and I know that's a bit or could be a bit controversial which is, um, if you're over 24 and you're getting into bikes for the first time, get an A license. Um, the only reason you would get an A1 or an A2 license is if you're, if that's all you're eligible for. You know, you see lads sort of saying, I only really want to ride a small bike, a 125cc or something like that. It doesn't matter, like, the, the A test isn't any harder than the A1 test. All, the only difference you know, they're looking for the same things, they're looking for observations, they're looking for uh, position on the road and speed and all that sort of business. The only difference is the bike. It isn't any harder, it isn't any easier, it's the exact same test, it's the exact same process. And the only thing you're doing by saying, oh, I'm, you know, 30, I'm going to go get the A2 and maybe progress to the A later on. All you're doing is costing yourself money by having to go back and do the... Uh, extra training for going between A2 and A and the bike you know any of the A category bikes that schools are going to have um, are fairly handy bikes like I did, I did mine in an SV650 which is a handy enough bike um, they're not going to be throwing you up on a, a big sports bike and saying go on g give it a go um, and uh, it, it really is you can you can do your IBT on an A category bike and then rent a bike for the test itself a pass your test on an A category bike and then ride a 50cc scooter for the rest of your life but it just offers you less restriction and um, larger bikes are you know they're as, they're as scary as larger cars you know they, they're only they're only going to do something if you tell them to do it uh, so that'll be the second one is get the get the license that you can get uh, so there you have it. That's my rambly little uh, guide to the licensing system in Ireland. Um, as with anything on the internet that you see, I'm just some agent on the internet. <laughs> Go do your own research. Go look into it. Hopefully I've given you some decent starting points and some decent uh, things to look into uh, around the license. And uh, above all else, have a bit of crack while you're doing it. Um, and hopefully this is useful. Uh, Drop to know, subscribe or like if it was useful to you. And I'll see you next time.